my name is Corinne Young. I'm a nurse practitioner in pulmonary and sleep medicine, and I work in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I'm also the president and founder of the Association of Pulmonary Advanced Practice Providers. I believe a good model of screening for COPD would be in your history taking. These patients are going to tell you if they're at risk for developing COPD. They have an occupational exposure. They have, again, a smoking history of any kind. We want to make sure those patients get a screening spirometry at least. It doesn't have to be a full pulmonary function test. It can just be a simple handheld spirometry. There's even discussion talking about using peak flows as a, as a preliminary screening because not all primary cares may have access to spirometry or patients in very rural areas may not, but a primary care could have a peak flow meter that they could look at. And if it's suboptimal, definitely warrants going further and doing lung function testing. Um, as far as our alpha one patients go, there are great guidelines that we discussed with the American Thoracic Society looking at who is a great candidate to screen for alpha one. And again, that's anybody that has irreversible obstruction on their pulmonary function test, patients who have emphysema, regardless of smoking history, they have a family history of alpha one. You know, these are patients we want to make sure that they have been screened and Really, where we have been most successful in screening our patients is in our PFT lab, you know, partnering or talking to your PFT lab that the giving the autonomy to the respiratory therapist to screen patients who meet that criteria. They're seeing the lung function right then in real time, and they have time between their pre and post bronchodilator testing when they have to wait that prescribed amount of time that they could do a cheek swab, they can do a finger poke if they wanted to do that and be able to at least screen those patients so we know they do or do not have it. And I tell patients all the time, it's just as important to know that you don't have it as it is to know that you have it because it does open up or guide us down our road of treatment for you going forward. Mm -hmm.